All right, what we have left to talk about yet is a legacy. A legacy is what is given to a society or what is left over or still used today in our societies, okay? So what we are going to refer to it as is gifts from our ancient civilizations. All right, so these are some interesting images here from our ancient civilizations, and these are our legacies, our gifts, things that we still use today. Okay, so I'm just going to point out some important ones here. So this first one we're going to go over here is we got we got from Egypt. Okay, so some interesting things that we got from Egypt. Um, one of the cool ones here is this idea of paper. The Egyptians were the first ones to come up with a paper. It actually was papyrus, which was made from reeds that they got along the Nile, papyrus, and then they used it to create some of their first writing, all right? So they used it out of the stalks from the papyrus plant, and they created it from the Nile. One of the other things that we got and still use today from the Egyptians was the help of some of our public administrators, okay? So our governors, our bureaucracy, okay, these public administrators, including scribes, people who write things down. These people, like tax collectors and secretaries, they're the ones that help us keep all of our paperwork and our records, and they help our government run smoothly. The paper pushers, right? We we definitely still use them today. Our school would not run well without our secretaries. No, they would not. Okay. Next thing is mathematics. Okay. A lot of different societies and our ancient civilizations give us mathematics, but the Egyptians in particular were very, very good at geometry. Okay. And they did this in particular for weights and areas and volume. And they did this to help them measure things. Okay. And they did this for land boundaries and to also help them build the pyramids. So that leads us to one of the last things we're going to probably talk about here and this was obviously their huge 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 temples right the pyramids and the temples and these huge structures that they had built okay these are their tombs we didn't know they were tombs to begin with but they come from that idea of their mathematics so we use some of their mathematical principles of, of weight and value and geometrics we still use this idea of a pyramid this kind of um, triangle at the top but it's a square at the bottom it's a geometric structure in some of our structures today Okay, we also use a calendar that is very, very similar to the Egyptian calendar. You can see it's a 365 day calendar, just like ours, and 12 days. So we got that idea from the Egyptians. Okay, next we're going to talk about the gifts or the legacies from ancient Greece. Okay, ancient Greece is probably one of the more famous ones because um almost everything we can recognize from ancient greece so here's a big one right here recognize these yeah that's right in the united states our government has lots of buildings that look like this including the white house these columns right here are very very iconic which means an image that is recognizable Okay, this is their structures, their architecture, this design, and it's a very Greek design, okay? So their sculpture and pottery, so are some of their things that we got from them, All right? So that's the architecture, okay? Theater, they were the first ones to come up with plays, so comedies, and tragedies we still use this today because I'm sure a lot of you still see movies even if it's just Netflix right and that was a legacy that we got from the ancient Greeks okay and then here's a big one democracy right democracy is rule of the people in ancient Athens it was the citizens who ruled in their government and today in the United States we still have a democracy okay and I'm sure you probably knew this one but our Olympic Games come from ancient Greece as well but then instead of getting a gold medal you were given a um, 
crown of leaves. And even then it was still every four years. So that is a legacy that we got from ancient Greece. So what are some legacies or gifts that we got from Mesopotamia? Well, Mesopotamia actually was the very first society to come up with writing. The very first writing that they came up with was known as cuneiform. And what it actually was, was um, it was sharpened sticks that they took and pressed into clay tablets. And they created it because they wanted to be able to keep track of trade records. So they were the very first society to come up with writing. Okay. One of the other ones that we talk about quite a bit that we got from Mesopotamia, obviously, is our law codes. And we got that from uh, the Code of Hammurabi. We talked about this quite a bit. And the Code of Hammurabi was um, very, very strict. It also set a precedent, which means a standard and something we can go back and look at. Okay. And it was our first written code. So they come with writing and then they write their laws down. Okay, it was um, very, very different for different social classes and often not fair for the social classes. It wasn't always fair between the classes. Okay, so those are some things that we got from Mesopotamia. Okay, Rome. Okay, Rome. We got a lot of our ideas of law from Rome, some of the things that we still use today from the Roman legal code, from the law, um, Roman laws and Roman ideas. One of the things is the idea of you are innocent until you are proven guilty. That is a Roman idea, a Roman law. We got that from the 12 tables, and that is something we still use today, okay? They had a very, very complex system. They used um, courts, Judges, jurors, lawyers, kind of sounds a lot like what we have today. And in fact, that's where we got the ideas from. Okay. Okay, here's another really interesting thing. Have you ever heard the saying, all roads lead to Rome? Yeah, that's right. They sure did. Rome had a huge empire. One of the ways that they connected it was by building a large system of roads, okay? Now, they did such an amazing job creating these roads that a lot of them even still exist to this day. And they became the basis of a lot of the modern roads that exist in Europe to this day. The Romans were also really, really talented at engineering and building new different types of structures and um, building designs. And one of the things that they created, they actually invented concrete. It's made out of volcanic rock. Okay. China. China's here, I think, our last one. Yes, it is. Okay. China. China is our last one. And there's two major ones that I want to talk about with China. Okay. One of the first ones here kind of sounds familiar from when we talked about our trade. And that is silk, right? The China Silk Road. Okay. They were very famous for their silk. It was very sought after because of how it felt, right? It feels very, very soft. And it was unique because they were the only ones who had discovered how to harvest this technique from the silkworm and then dye it and make it into these beautiful patterns. Okay, they're the only ones who had figured out how to do it from that time. And so because of that, they became very, very rich from it. Another technique that only the Chinese had discovered how to create was this type of porcelain, okay? Porcelain is a very strong, very delicate, very beautiful type of pottery, okay? So if you ever been, um, maybe your mom or your grandma or an aunt has a china cabinet, right, where you keep all your fancy dishes, all right, and those are your very, very fancy dishes, and the reason they're called china cabinets is because that's the type of porcelain that the Chinese created, all right, and so because it only came from China for so long, that type of porcelain was nicknamed china, 
Isn't that interesting? So that is the legacy that we got from these societies. And that is the things that are passed down to us from these ancient civilizations that we still use today in our societies. And that is what a legacy is. And that are the things that we got from these ancient civilizations and still use today.